a couple of student sessions, like one at four o'clock. I think that students on this campus are ready and willing to affect change and seek it out, seek out opportunities to benefit the larger community. With the Adams County Democratic Committee and with the Obama campaign in town. So I think that's been successful. Madeline Shepard came to me last year. I had not known her before that. She enrolled in two of my courses simultaneously, and they were back to back. We had a little time, of course, in between classes, and so she would routinely come into my office and we would just chat, and I got to know her very well. I remember being in his constitutional law class, and he would start telling jokes that this former Supreme Court justice had told him, and you know, the, half the class is sitting there, wide-eyed, gaping mouths, just thinking, who don't you know? Without Professor Mott, I probably wouldn't have done half the things that I've done uh, in the last three years. I organized and participated in a panel discussion uh, that focused on Kitzmiller v. Dover Board of Education, which involved the teaching of intelligence design in the public high school uh, biology classes in Dover, Pennsylvania. So she found a real interest in that case, and she approached me and said, you know, I'd like to put together a panel of experts to talk about this case, and I would like to get Judge John Jones, who actually decided the case, to come down and join us for that. And that's exactly what she did. I served on the panel. We had uh, two people from the Lutheran Theological Seminary, which is right next door here in Gettysburg, and it was just terrific. She put that all together herself. And this year, she is serving as one of the five Eisenhower Institute fellows. The Eisenhower Institute is a public policy institute that's based in Gettysburg, uh, as well as Washington, D.C. They really strive also, I think, on the level of the, with the fellows uh, to put students in the driver's seat behind programming. Ours is a kind of bottom-up approach. We really believe that students are going to be uh, best benefited if they take a hold of the programming, if they develop ideas, if they invite speakers to come in, if they do the hard work of preparing the publicity and, and getting folks out and, and all the rest of it. He's really made me feel grounded, not just that someone here cares about me in the faculty, but someone has a uh, real interest in, in helping me pursue my own goals and um, a real investment in my own success. I want to go to law school and I'd really like to pursue civil rights law and um, work in a venue where I can help uphold people's civil rights, uh, religious freedom in particular. Great school, great place, great campus. Yeah. Professor Mott and I have been working on um, what will be a co-written paper, which we will both be presenting at the Northeastern Political Science Association Conference in Boston come November. And thereafter, we've discussed um, trying to get it published. It ultimately depends upon the professors. Uh, they've got to extend themselves. I've always considered this an important part of my job, quite frankly. It's not enough for us as faculty simply to be available. But you actually have to tap people on the shoulder and say, hey, you know, I've got an idea. You've got an idea. Let's, let's, let's do some work.